All right, so next I'm gonna take off the shield and take out this rope that's stuck in here. Um, it's wrapped around the impeller shaft. And it uh, looks like I got, sorry, I'm jammed under here. I got two bolts here and then two bolts here. Man, there's a lot of barnacles on here. It was pulled out of the lake and clearly wasn't rinsed or anything. A lot of pitting. Hopefully it's not a problem long term, but all right, let's get this shield off. All right, got the shield off. Uh, these two bolts were uh, 10 millimeter heads and 12 millimeters down here. There's that rope. So let's see if I can just start unraveling. So I got my knife with me. Oh yeah, she is tight. I thought I could just <laughs> simply just unravel this, but yeah, right. With all that speed and propulsion. Um, yeah, yeah, it's tight in there. All right, got to get my knife out. Hold on. All right, all right, put a slit in it. So, just unraveling this rope. Good old dock line. <clears throat> Somebody lost their dock line. And this thing just sucked it right up. Wow. Well. Um, a lot of rope. Uh, looks like anything can hold these things if I was looking up online. Anything can get stuck sucked up in these things. Okay, so now I gotta get the last piece. I don't want to cut my finger on this impeller. Alright, let's pull this. Let's put my hand in here slowly. I'm feeling it. Oh, it's really in there. Okay. Free. Guess that'll really hold up your jet ski. Yeah, that thing's been beat up in there. I don't know if there's any more in there. I'll clean it out and see if there's anything else in there. Alright, so I got all that scraped off clean, I guess. Um, just got most of it off with the wire brush, even though it doesn't look like I got everything. I promise I got as much as I kind of could. I'm not going to go crazy. And then um, scraped in this housing a little bit. Just get some stuff, knock some burrs off or whatever it is. Alright, so now I'm going to put this back on. Um, I'm going to put the two bolts back in here and then these it looks like there used to be silicone there so i'm going to put more silicone in here pipe it in and then put the screws in just clearly that's for uh seals on the actual hole so all right let me get this piece in and then i'll uh, silicone her up all right so i got the two bolts installed on there i got the two installed up here so basically i put a bunch of silicone not a bunch just like a good squirt kind of around the hole um and it probably caught on the threads too which will probably be a good thing and um that should help it be watertight or water resistant as much as it can be and there we got a nice clean well cleaner um impeller system so hopefully uh that <laughs> runs or speeds up quicker and goes quicker as well um i'm eventually gonna scrape all this off i guess but man this stuff is nasty i don't know what exactly it is but you know it's just some corrosion with lake water and algae probably and the metal reacting and this stuff just like it's just like white dust and the black dust comes off of it all at the same time with the wire brush it's pretty nasty but yeah i'm gonna do everything here at some point um yeah but for now this is all done and uh let's hope we can propel pretty well